Hi everyone, I'm Aiden from Tech Robotics. Today we're going to be talking about pulse width modulation, or PWM. PWM is a way to modify the amount of power going to a specific device, like an LED or a motor. In our case, there are usually around three cables on a PWM. There's the ground and the input. The input basically supplies power to whatever device, and the ground lets that power exit. The third cable is called the PWM signal. So the signal wire basically acts as an on and off switch with a certain amount of voltage turning the device on and zero voltage turning the device off. This signal wire is basically what lets us control the power going to this device. If we have the signal on for a higher percentage of time, there's going to be more power going to the device. And if we have it on for a lower percentage of time, there's going to be less power. This percentage of time is called the duty cycle of the PWM. We can also split up the PWM signal into various frequencies. So a higher frequency means that you're having a higher number of duty cycles per second. In this graph, we can see that the duty cycle can be adjusted to give more or less power to the device as well as the frequency in order to adjust the smoothness. If you think about it, a 50% duty cycle will mean that the device is on for 50% of the time and off for 50% 50 of the time. However, if we have a really low frequency, then that means that the device is going to be really choppy. So it's going to be on for a full second, let's say, and then off for a full second. So increasing the frequency would make the device uh, have a smoother operation at 50% power. That was a basic explanation of how PWM works. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below or email us at frc5587 at gmail.com. As always, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.